Um, okay, this, this is happening a little quicker than I thought it would. This is a death trap. We're not gonna survive this. I mean, it's gonna look beautiful at the bottom of the ocean all lit up. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen something so beautiful here in Stormworks? This is an awesome cruise ship called the Norwegian Breeze, and folks, it's a looker. So just to give you guys like a true scale as to how big this is, like this is ridiculous looking. Uh, it's got a bunch of amenities, especially up here at the top with like a full blown water park. It looks like there's quite a few cabins modeled in uh, here, probably some uh, interior that's just kind of dead space. Uh, probably for lag reasons, but yeah, a very, very detailed looking ship, and we're gonna check this thing out, and, uh, we're gonna put it through its paces here today, Stormworks. By the way, the creators of the ship also have a, uh, a new one, uh, that's, doesn't have an interior, it's like a light version, and I think they're actually building one that has an interior, and I love cruise ships in Stormworks. Like, these are some of the best creations, in my opinion. And yeah, this one is no different. This is actually luxurious. It's like a, a nice little bar dining area out the front. I believe the bridge is above us, or actually it might be below us here. Hold on, let's go above. Uh, let's see what's up here uh, so we can open this up. Uh, you got another sun deck. You've got a full-blown bar set up here uh, with the old water park. Uh, wait, yeah, no, I think it definitely was below us. Holy man, yeah, you can actually just sit on the front of the boat. This is impressive. I like this a whole lot. I'd like to get it away from the dock. I'm not really experiencing much lag, but I do have a monster computer. I'd be curious if you guys download it, which by the way, link down in the description. Uh, let me know how you guys can run it. You have to load it in as a mission, by the way. Uh, you can't just spawn it in uh, at, at like a normal spawn. It's actually going to be at the multiplayer island. Uh, but yeah, let me know uh, down in the comment section below if you guys uh, have gotten to try out the ship. Okay, and as much as I would want to play here in the water park, let's go ahead and head towards the bridge. See if we can get this bad boy moving. Okay, I have ran into, like, an art exhibit. Um, this is not where I wanted to go. What are these? Are these... Oh, these are cabins over here. Okay, maybe this is the bridge. Uh, oh, this is cool. It's like a model of the ship. I think it's leading up to the bridge. Is that... Okay, that's like a live image over there. Uh, looks like we got some, uh, cool, like, little paintings. Actually, it's like an officer list over here, and I guess that's the captain. Uh, okay, so here we are in the bridge. I hope I don't have to go down to the engine room first. <laughs> oh, look for a engine start. Okay, so there we go. We got to start. Uh, let's throw in, actually throttle up, and then we'll throw in the clutch here. And just like that, we are actually moving. All right, let's go and hit the toggle buttons. What are these over here? Are these, like, spotlights? Uh, oh, left bow thruster. I think that's to kind of pull away uh, from the deck. Uh, we got night lights in here. I uh, got little uh, desk lamps. Uh, turn on the cameras here. Okay, so that's got all the cameras on. Oh, that's so cool. Like, you can actually see, like, the back. I really wish Stormworks could find a way to make their monitors a little more high res. Uh, but, yeah, you could see the, uh, the water park out there. And I'm assuming this is the, actually over here to probably clear you off the side. Oh, yeah, that's what that is. That is... Honestly, really, really cool. I don't know what this is over here. Probably a autopilot. Uh, maybe right here. Uh, so you can input the waypoint. Uh, I think she runs at about... I think it said nine knots. Uh, I could be mistaken from the description. Uh, but yeah, it's glorious. It runs actually uh, even better uh, once you get away from the dock. So uh, we're going to go on a little bit more of a tour. And then we're going to test this thing out. Uh, this thing is cool, and yeah, it would be a disservice to not go in here and at least look at some of the cabins and uh, some of the areas. Maybe I should pick out a spot. Uh, oh, this is actually cool. I, I like the views here. I don't know if the other cabins have, like, the uh, the decks on them. I uh, got, like, a little bathroom in here. I'm assuming this is the light for the room. Uh, it is. Uh, why do I seem to be, like, floating across? I don't really get what's going on there. Yeah, like, I'm slowly, like, moving. Uh, so, yeah, I'm assuming, yeah, these are all cabins uh, through here. All right, let's go out towards the uh, the back area. Uh, this is lovely. Yeah, could you imagine just sitting here, uh, enjoying your nice uh, breakfast or lunch, and just, you got that view of the ocean. You can go take a dip. Uh, yeah, a lovely little area here. You got, like, a little buffet. Uh, looks like bar, and then we can go back into here. And, oh, my goodness, look at this. Wait, is this, like, a playground? Dude, it's totally like a playground. If I was a kid, this would be an awesome spot. All right, let's go maybe through here. Is this the back? Okay, this is how you access the uh, uh, the bar and, like, buffet area. 
Uh, you got dining areas. There's a staircase. Uh, we'll take that here in a second. So it's like another little restaurant in here. Uh, looks like we got another dining hall back through here. Yeah, this is just a uh, really, really lovely area. I like what they did with the interior. The colors are nice. Hold on, let's go. Actually, that's access to the bar. So yeah, this is the back deck where you also have uh, areas to sit. Uh, very, very nice. Let's go maybe up the stairs. Like I said, it's not a. Com I don't think it's a complete interior. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that was also due to lag purposes. I mean, it's always cool building like a big ultra ship, but if nobody can run it, uh, it might be one of those things where it's probably better off doing it like this. And what's here is actually really, really detailed. Okay, so those stairs led to uh, the deck where you can sunbathe. And, oh, there's like a basketball court back here. Dude, that's pretty cool. What's this? Is this like exterior lights? Oh, dude, those blue lights are nice. I wonder how many exterior lights are on this ship. Uh, so is this like a rock climbing wall on the back? Or is this like a design thing? I I'm not really sure there with the back section. Uh, all right, hold on. Let's go ahead and go. I'm going to go into photo mode here. That way we can just take a look. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, like I said, the... Uh oh, the deck's here. Wait, no, there's... Wait, there's more interior in here. So I don't think there's an interior right here. Uh, how do we get down to that area? I need to figure that out. There's got to be like a staircase or something. By the way, let's go ahead and uh, do night lighting just to see what it looks like. By the way, that's the night lights. It is. Oh, it's perfect. Like, I love that. I love the blue lights up here, too. Really, really lights this thing up nice. Okay, folks, I might have found something. So there was a doorway on the side, like little deck here, and we can go over to here. And I think these are elevators, aren't they? Dude, this is cool because, yeah, there's a, a deck below us. Uh, so we're gonna go to, I guess, L? Alright, so this will take us down to the bottom. That's a quick elevator, by the way. Uh, nice and efficient. So we're down in, like, a bottom deck here. And, oh my goodness, is this a casino? Wait, can you light these up? That would be awesome if you could light these up. Yeah, there's a full-blown little casino here in the back. I love it. Alright, let's go maybe forward. I saw some, uh, pretty cool-looking stuff, uh, when I was in the photo mode. I want to actually go down here and see exactly what it was, though. Alright, so we got another set of stairs. Uh, we're gonna... Totally, uh, oh, I was gonna try to jump down that. Pretty tight down here. Uh, look at this. It's like a, a formal, like, well, actually, this looks like a, almost like a food court up here. There's a bar down there. It looks like they're watching, uh, is that Star Wars? I believe that's Star Wars. Uh, this is cool. There's a nice little piano down here. Oh, can we, oh, wait, you can autoplay? I click the button. Does it work? Ah. I, I was really hoping it was going to start playing some nice music here. Uh, all right, so yeah, you've got this big area here, and then it led down into more cabin areas. I don't think you can go into these. But yeah, there was a whole other section that we had missed there, and I was like, all right, we definitely have to cover that. So I say let's go ahead and go back up to the bridge. I'm going to look back here real quick. Okay, that's just a staircase. Uh, probably leads back up to where we were. Yeah, this is a lovely, lovely interior. I, I like this. I like the uh, design aspect of the, uh, like, the decorations here. Uh, it's very creative use of, like, windows. Uh, very, very cool here. All right, so it's been a while since we've done something like this at night. This is cool. All right, so we got highway. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Um, okay, this, this is happening a little quicker than I thought it would. Uh, we just completely caps... Okay, hold on. We could fight... Well, I'm not sure we could fight this. What the heck? Um, we have completely capsized. Uh, you know, there actually is a sync button on this. Um, I don't think I need to click it. Uh, it did say that this thing didn't handle high waves too well. Uh, oh, wait, what am I... Okay, if I let go of this helm, I'm gonna fall over there, and I don't think I'm gonna get... Uh-oh. That, that's not good. Okay, we're gonna let, oh, we've completely capsized. We are 100% over, so if I let go, I might hit the roof here. Oh, let's go, oh. Okay, we're on the roof. What the heck? Okay, no, 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 no. No, go this way. We have capsized in this really quick. Yeah, this is a, it's a really tall ship. Oh, wait, um, does that lead out to the water? Is there not another way? Wait, can I get down to the deck below us? Uh-oh, that, wait a minute. Okay, I think that's the water from where uh, it came in. Uh, maybe I should lessen the waves. Uh, I'd like to try to get this thing back, uh, ride it up here. Um, yeah, you can see the water line. That's not a good sign. You know what? We're going to let this ride. Uh, what if I were to just transport myself down into the ship? What does this look? Oh, my goodness. Um, okay. Uh, let's go down to the bottom. 
Okay, is there seriously water in this right now? Wait, did this whole area already flood? No, we didn't. Okay, it was just graphical glitch. Okay, so the ship has righted itself up. Uh, I did, like, turn down the waves slightly. What is it? Where did that water get in? Um, you know, it looked like there was water in here. Oh, my goodness. This thing is, like, tilting straight down. Uh-oh. Um, is that... That is... What just happened? I just heard a boom. That wasn't an explosion boom. That was a we hit something boom. Um, is, is that water coming into here? Um, folks, that looks like a lot of water. Uh, <laughs> wait, is that actually, oh my, that's in here. Okay, uh, head to the, wait, where's, okay, I think it's back here. Uh, we need to get to those elevators. We need to get up. Oh, okay, that's water. In no, this is slowly seeping in. Um, okay, uh, go down. I, I can't tell. It's like we got some graphical glitches here. Uh, here, let's get to the... Wait. That's water spilling through here. Um, yeah, I should probably look at the outside. Yeah, I wanted to transport my... S what the... Hold on. Is this water... Uh, oh, I'm trying to open up the door. Um, is that water actually in... Oh, my goodness. Wait, we're in really bad pressure. On. Okay, elevator, does it still work? Okay, get us out of the water. Uh, every floor that I go to has water on it. Okay, so the bottom of the ship is flooding. All right, let's head towards the... Wait, is this... out? That's an outside door. Uh Oh, I got here from the outside. Wait, what does this look like? There is water spilling up from the elevator. I think capsizing... Hold on. I'm going to look real quick. It's laggy. <gasps> Wait. That's why it's not capsizing anymore. We actually went down to the bottom. We're at the bottom of the ocean. How deep are we? Um, okay, this is officially a, this is a death trap. We're not gonna survive this. Um, so yes, very strong waves. Definitely most cruise ships would try to go around them. This, yeah, this is a, this is a quick one here and if I open that door, I die because of the pressure. If I don't do that, I'm going to drown here. Um, there's not a way out of this, by the way. Uh, hold on. Go down through here. No, I can't. The elevator doesn't go any further up. Um, okay, we're going to reset that. Yeah, that was one of the quickest sinking survivals I think we've ever done. And we're back. Yeah, that was an adventure there. Uh, that was, <laughs> it was super quick. Uh, but yeah, I did discover there is a sink button on this. So if you're at the uh, helm here, hold on, let's go throttle up. And then we're gonna clutch up here. So if you don't hide the controls, you can see, I think it's three is a sink. So I haven't really looked at the bottom. Are there pumps down here? Oh, you know what? I think I see a door towards the front. Okay, so that's how this thing goes down. So let's get it fairly deep and then we're gonna click that. I'm curious, does it tip over? Maybe it's a capsizing sink. Uh, definitely the waves took it down, but I'll be curious as to how the actual sync button set up here. Okay, so I'm gonna click the three key here. Okay, three keys. Okay, so it's just a big door. Oh my goodness, so this thing's just gonna tip forward, I think. Uh, wait, is it offset? No, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Like, look at that. Okay, so look at the black box uh, that's right towards the front where the, I think the anchor's supposed to be, and look at the water line. This thing goes down pretty quick. I mean, I think regardless, I think being upside down in high waves wasn't good for it, and it was obviously leaking. Uh, but this is, like, uber quick. And, yeah, I don't think this particular model has lifeboats. I do believe the creator's other ship does. So, yeah, you don't have much of an option here but to go down with the ship. I'm going to go ahead. Let's just seal this up. Uh, we're going to stay in the bridge. Uh, I guess we could have stayed in the bridge. Uh, when it was tipping over. I wanted to go like down towards the bottom to see if it was leaking and it indeed was and oh my goodness That is so quick. All right. Well, it's gonna go down. Um, here we go Oh, yeah, I think it's just gonna go straight down it it. So yeah, it's like we got two sinks for one here um, It's a beautiful ship and it's kind of sad seeing it go down, but it's also really really awesome uh, I think we're fairly deep here. So gonna have a ways to go this would be a fun one to go back down into with some scuba gear and uh go explore i bet you'd be kind of creepy uh it does keep its i actually have an infinite electricity you're supposed to run it with that uh so it does stay lit up oh it actually leaks in the side too 
Oh, that's pretty cool. And that's, I guess that's how the interior starts to leak. Oh, look, here's where all like the furniture was. Oh, oh yeah, it's accelerating. That is so extreme. And then you look around in here and it's like, uh oh. Um, I mean, it's gonna look beautiful at the bottom of the ocean all lit up. You know, honestly, I'm kind of surprised somebody hasn't tried to do like the, the Bioshock like rapture. And why is there water in here? Uh, so this front cab, Okay, this thing eventually starts to fill up. Oh my goodness. There's, okay, I'm about to turn off player damage. There's nowhere safe in here. Yep, and there it goes. All right, so it tips up and then it's just gonna go straight down. Oh, it's it's still cool looking, but yeah. Uh, I do like the uh, the underwater city feel, like once it sets to the bottom with all the lights. Oh, you know what, it tips straight up that time. Are we touching? No, we're not even touching the bottom. That is really, really cool seeing something that large just uh, stand straight up. Are we? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it's down below the water, and it's probably gonna hit the nose and then fall down on its belly. Or it might actually balance itself on, oh, here we go. It's about to touch, and, ooh, that's that's a good bit of damage. If I turn off infinite electricity, what happens? Okay, it's off. I think some of the lights actually turned off. Uh, I think there's just not enough power to uh, power up everything. Um. That's something. It actually stood up this time. It is not moving. So, yeah, we got to experience two different sinks there. When it was in the high waves, it actually came down on its stomach. Uh, but it definitely didn't do that this time. It is it is pointed straight up. Maybe it's... No, it's not even slowly tipping. Like It's officially just straight up. And then you just see my character just, just swimming along. Wait, this isn't flooded. Oh, we can actually stand in here. I, I, it's not so bad. It sounds sick now that I turned off infinite electricity. Oh, and it might be... Is it still moving? I feel like it might be setting itself down finally. Oh, let's just look. I'm going to set the camera still here. Uh, no, I think it's just kind of bouncing off. Yeah, it is doing like the perfect stand uh, here at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, that was awesome, though. Definitely go check it out. We'll see you guys next time.